Hey everyone, welcome back to Pretty Well. Dr. Angela here with you. This is video number two of our brain health series. And in this video, we're gonna talk about acetyl L-carnitine, which is the bioactive form of L-carnitine. L-carnitine is an amino acid and we can find it readily in certain foods, particularly red meats or organ meats. It is available as well in certain plant foods, um, not in very high concentrations, so you'd have to eat more of them. I'll put a great uh, chart from the Linus Pauling Institute inside of the description box so you can kind of get an idea of um, the amount, the concentration of carnitine in each food. Um, you can also eat precursors to carnitine. Um, methionine and lysine are some additional amino acids that are um, helpers in producing carnitine inside of our bodies that we will then convert into acetyl L-carnitine. And so, you know, we can certainly eat diets that are gonna really help us with adequate amounts and higher concentrations of L-carnitine, which we can then convert to acetyl L-carnitine inside our bodies. That said, um, if there are any issues going on related to brain health or there are family histories of certain conditions um, that are, you know, brain health conditions, we may want to consider supplementing with some acetyl L-carnitine, which is, again, the bioactive form. Um, I will put links in the description box to my favorite products that I use personally, that I use in clinical practice with my patients. Um, I use this product um, by MRM quite a bit for a liquid version, for those who don't like to swallow capsules. And um, if you like capsules, I like pure encapsulations quite a bit because I don't use fillers and binders and things like that inside their capsules. So those are a couple of my favorites. There are other companies out there, which I'm sure some of you guys in the community can chime in about as well. So let's get into why acetyl L-carnitine. Uh, acetyl L-carnitine has a very important job inside the brain. Um, it is considered a cofactor in mitochondrial health and production. So what it does is it takes fat in our bodies and it shuttles fat inside of the cell into the mitochondria, uh, which is the part of the cell that generates energy. And energy in the body is called ATP. And so um, basically it helps us use the fat we have in our body efficiently to generate more energy, more ATP. And so this actually is gonna help all of the cells in our body across the board. But um, the cells in our brain, the neurons, as well as the cells in our muscle tend to have a higher requirement for ATP, cellular gas. So it's really gonna help the health of those cells. So in the brain, what does it do? Um, it acts as an energy producer, so it's going to decrease any kind of brain fatigue, AKA brain fog. It's gonna help people feel more refreshed and be able to concentrate better. There are also studies that really um, support that it improves cognitive function. So it's just our overall brain function and also improves memory. So it, it helps regenerate cells inside of the hippocampus, which is the part of the brain that helps us with memory. So that's amazing. Um, I was reading one study that actually showed that it helps increase the number of mitochondria as well as the health of the mitochondria in the hippocampus. So very impressive. Um, it also lifts mood. So for anyone who has struggled with chronic depression, severe depression, acetyl L-carnitine can be a, a wonderful helper for depression as well. There are multiple um, mechanisms of action. One that's been studied and that is understood is that it actually helps to increase serotonin levels. Um, interestingly enough, uh, acetyl L-carnitine also works even more effectively with some of its buddies. So spoiler alert, in our brain health series, I'm gonna also focus on some alpha lipoic acid and CoQ10, because they're really wonderful for brain health. But part of the reason is they have a synergistic effect with one another inside the mitochondria, um, both as cellular antioxidants and as energy producers. So anytime we have antioxidants, what we're doing is prolonging the life of a cell and prolonging the health health of a cell. So just allowing that cell to 
do its job more efficiently for a longer period of time. And then if we make more ATP, we do it at a more zippy pace. So there you have it. Um, one other function that acetyl L-carnitine has been shown to help with um, that's very important is for individuals who have early onset Alzheimer's disease. So this means Alzheimer's that has been diagnosed before the age of 62, that it can help slow down the progression of those types of cases of Alzheimer's. And this is important because Alzheimer's is particularly difficult to treat and early onset Alzheimer's tends to be um, a very poor prognosis. Um, and so wonderful to have tools that we know that we have data on that have shown to be helpful in this situation. Okay, so for those of you who wanna know beyond brain health, why take acetyl L-carnitine? Okay, so I mentioned that the neurons, the brain cells, um, also the nerve cells in the periphery of our body and the muscle cells really need quite a bit of ATP. So um, first going to the nerves, so anybody who has nerve damage in the rest of their body, so outside of the brain, um, if we have nerve damage um, in our limbs, we refer to that as peripheral neuropathy, and that can be as a side effect of chemotherapy sometimes. It can be as a side effect of long-standing blood sugar dysregulation in situations like diabetes. So acetyl L-carnitine can be very protective um, to the nerve cells in the periphery of the body to slow down damage to those nerves and also to help reverse damage that has occurred again, even more effective with its helper buddies, alpha-lipoic acid and CoQ10. So keep that in mind if you're working on nerve health anywhere in the body. For the muscles, there are just so many great functions that acetyl L-carnitine does. It, again, you gotta first and foremost think about increased energy production, so workout stamina. If you're an athlete and you want more of an edge on your workouts, um, having an increased amount of acetyl L-carnitine can help if there's any kind of muscle fatigue going on. If you are a person who has struggled with muscle wasting for any reason, acetyl L-carnitine can be a really good helper here. Um, it also is particularly helpful for muscle pain. So um, individuals who have what are called myalgias, so muscle weakness, pain, fatigue, really helpful. Getting back to muscle wasting, um, also known as cachexia, just wasting, um, in particular, we have to remember that the heart is also a muscle, and so acetyl L-carnitine is going to be really helpful with cardiomyopathies and congestive heart failure. Um, so I'll put the links in the description box that are some studies to help you read up on those things if that's of interest to you. But, you know, really huge because oftentimes, you know, when people have congestive heart failure or things like that, not such a great prognosis. So really great to have tools for our cellular metabolism that really help function across the board. Um, all right, what other kind of interesting um, improved health outcomes can we have? Um, there are good studies on sperm motility, that it improves sperm motility, because again, it's increasing the energy of those sperm cells. And so um, if you have a male infertility issues where sperm um, motility has been slow, this could be a helper in terms of getting pregnant with your partner. Exciting. If there are any kind of immune system dysregulation issues, low immune function, um, there are studies as well in HIV and AIDS where the lymphocytes um, actually live longer um, when taking acetyl L-carnitine, so it can be used in combination with HIV medication cocktails. Um, so super amazing to have all these extra ways of just improving our cells' capacity to function. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys about acetyl L-carnitine? I'm trying to think if there's anything else on the... Oh yeah, cataracts! Um, so because it's also uh, a really powerful antioxidant, it slows down the progression and development of cataracts quite significantly in studies. So I'll put, again, the links to those. So you can check that out and see what you think. But um, you can see why there's just so many great reasons to make sure we're really fortified with our levels of 
L-carnitine slash acetyl L-carnitine and perhaps even to supplement if there is a tendency towards any of these issues. I hope that helps you all. Um, you guys who have maybe taken acetyl L-carnitine over the years, share your stories with us, especially brain health since it's the focus of this video, but for any of the areas that we talked about. Um, if you have other studies or things you want to share about it, if you have questions that you want the community to help answer for you that Dr. Patty and I might be able to answer for you, please add those comments to the description box. If you're not um, a regular member of the community and you want to get notified when new videos pop up, just hit the subscribe button and um, share this video with somebody you think it might help. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and um, keep giving us the topics that you want to keep learning about and Dr. Patty and I will do our best to choose your topic. We'll see you back here really soon. Take wonderful care. Thanks so much for being here with us.